Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome back to my channel or if you're here for the very first time, welcome. Today we are reacting to episode 3 of Band of Brothers. I'm trying to keep the reactions coming so I don't really forget the information, nor the names, nor what happened in the last episode. But it's getting a little bit more difficult as there are so many movies and, and so much music there to discover and uh, I am trying my best here. I do have a little bit of a more of a crazy makeup thing going on. I have a cosplay later on today, so this is like half of the makeup for the cos that cosplay. I do stream on Twitch as well, so that is where all of this craziness is happening. And here on Patreon, I, I do have a Patreon where you can see the full link there so if you want to check that out it'd be my pleasure you have the link in the description below and i feel like we are basically ready so uh, i have coffee i hope you have as well something to eat or something to drink or you know something that works for you and i feel like we are ready to go so let's go i thought i was going to get killed instantly i thought one of two things quick death uh, or uh, come through probably without a scratch it's a feeling you you would not let yourself down but we all had training to know that uh, I like this little documentary thing at the beginning to accomplish what you're supposed to be doing it just gives like a more of a um, you know it it, it it does tell that it's like a real story did happen and I, I like that June 8 1944 you remember that after they landed, they force landed, the Easy Company was dismantled basically. And I think like they said that there were like only 12 left or 11 left, something like this from Easy Company. So let's see who survived basically. Yeah, it looks like what's his name? You know from 1st Platoon? Our 1st Platoon? He sure does. Blythe. Blythe? Hey, Blythe. Blythe! I mean, I cannot even imagine what is in his head right now. He seems so out of it. You alone? You're the first familiar faces I've seen. I ain't surprised. Poor him. They dropped us all over the Cotton Peninsula. We've been fighting with the 502nd since we hit the ground. You? I've been, uh... Out of it. You've been out of it. Trying to find easy. Join the club. Probably that's why the discussion about fear at the beginning. Well, you know, you decided to show up, Lloyd. Oh, My leader is going to put you all to shame when I get it. How was your jump? Well, missed the DZ. Yeah, that goes without saying. Poor guy. I can only look at him and just... It's a trade. Huh? Trying to You're understand. Unlike their previous owners. Got anything good? Yeah, because they are dead. Hey. They're not ticking anymore, right? Tommy Bird just took one in the face. How about we ain't got pinks in the behind? They're gonna be okay. They think the plane went down. They say he's gonna turn up. Let's go! I don't understand like this first platoon and I mean easy company I understand because we saw them from the beginning. But what is the link in between? So the first platoon is it's, it's another easy company basically. Dark soon. I want light and noise discipline from here on. That sounds like fun. It's the only place where armor from Omaha and Utah Beach can link up and head in. Glad you could join us. Thank you, sir. First platoon falling behind Fox Company. You people from second and third platoon follow us. So you see what I mean? There is Fox Company, there is Easy Company, there is Dog Company, I feel like. And then there are like the platoons. What is the, the thing? Yo, whoa. <laughs> I don't really get it. Maybe like the platoons are like foot soldiers, let's just say. And like the Easy Company were the one that dropped with the parachutes. I, I'm very confused here. I'm trying to make a sense out of it it doesn't really work out for me too well today i feel like the details they put in this series is really really amazing like the production is great they are so dehumanized this guy with his damn watches we lost that company sir again did you send somebody yeah i got hublin blight out there now this is about officers crapping out on their training next Nix is a nice name too. So he's in the command. He's in the command. <laughs> Winters is in command right now, right? And they are acting as scouters. Flash. Thunder. Okay. I can hear y'all all the way across the field. You have company. It's 
try. What y'all calling a y'all call? Y'all calls. Flash. I want to see it in the comments. Oh shit. Yep. He's dead, private. Thought he had me. Poor blight. He's uh, he's so out of it. That only grows uh in the Alps above the tree line, which means he climbed up there to get it. Supposed to be the mark of a true soldier. Aww, Edelweiss. That's that was a touching touch, a touching touch. Day six. I was told that this series is gonna get like increasingly more difficult to watch. So, Cafe de Normandie. I wanted to take the first straight up the middle, hard, fast. Go. There are snipers all over. God damn it! Where the fuck is everybody? Everybody, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Get dog and G's moving, will ya? Say, go, go. You have to take over somehow. Oh God! Oh my God! This is super loud. Oh shit. Grenade! Grenade! No! Fuck it. You have like a one deer, just throw it. Wow. This series is like super brutal. Ah, finally, hallelujah, you missed. Good shots, huh? I like the way the camera is shaking. That's a nice touch. Yeah, finally, the damn grenades. Alright, this is very, very loud. I'm, I'm trying to mm, put it for us so you guys can hear me talk. And hear the movie as well, but it's difficult. We gotta take that warehouse. Hammer those windows. Hammer. Like a cover fire. I mean, they are very organized. At least that's that. Wow, wow. With bazooka, uh, you know what they're missing? A flamethrower. That's what they're missing now. Shit. They're just execution style. No. No, I just got goosebumps everywhere. Please, please don't shoot. Please, please. Civilians. What does it mean they got us zeroed? I mean, it's something. Wow, this is so loud. Is it something like we ha we are like in the open? I think this is what it means, but I'm not sure. So let me know, guys. They got us zeroed. Does it mean we are in the open? I feel like I need to repeat myself because of the series being so loud. I'm really trying my best here. Oh, I saw his leg being detached to, from his body. Man, the medics. He's gone. Oh my god, oh my god. You're okay, Lily. Everything's right where it should be. Come on. I have to learn this this method of uh, pulling them up on the shoulder. Pharmacy. You do be needing that pharmacy. Trust. The French have good stuff in there. Can you imagine the poor people in this 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 little town? There is a little heart in the door. Okay. 
Okay, they just bazooka pharmacy. Oh, the breath. Wait, well maybe. The. <laughs> so looking good, Chip. And you? I'm looking real good. Easy, easy. There you go. Yeah. Wow, the, this is just the adrenaline, guys. Jesus. Wow, wow. Okay, we're gonna get you fixed up. All right. Guys, you want to give me a hand here? Come on. Man, they um they just went all ballistic with this episode, I swear. These are like machine guns, basically. I'm doing wrinkles here. They're like sitting ducks there. Lieutenant Winters is my favorite is it safe to character, on? let's just say. Uh, yes, sir. Come on, let's get him out of here. And I like Nyx too. Shit! This just got shot in the feet. <laughs> yeah, I... Lucky it was a ricochet. Now you gonna be able to stay off it? Doesn't look that way. Just give him the horse. Try, huh? That's what we got planned, Chief. Well, we expect a counterattack. All the flooded fields is the only direction they can approach from. Yeah. Well, flooded fields means they're gonna be moving slow, so that means they sitting ducks again. Yeah. I like this guy, the doctor as well. Except he can't see. He can't see? Well, so he says. Maybe he can't see the reason anymore. He just told you to stay out of your feet. Lieutenant Winters, what happened? I don't know, sir. But things, they just kind of went black on me. I think, sir. I can't see a thing. Is it something like psychological, guys? Does anybody know if there is a you term for it? Alive. I'm gonna get you out of here. Get you back to England. Sir, I didn't uh, want to let anyone down. Oh. Yeah, what is it? Thank you, sir. Oh. I'm okay. Can see. I don't know what happened. I... I'm telling you, the, the psychic is messing up with you. Sometimes you just need All right. kindness, I guess. And well, stay here a little while longer, and uh, and make sure, and uh, then you can report back to your platoon. I like Winters. Winters is my favorite. And then Nix. I mean, this doctor's not bad. Not bad. This doctor as well. Oh, good. I got mm. Crowd cheese tastes like... Cheese? Stinks. <laughs> Red stale, too. Give me that. You mark my words, Mel. Berlin by Christmas. Enjoy while well it lasts. We'll be moving out soon. I mean, they raided probably whatever they could get. That's right. Don't they know we're just getting settled here? You're getting settled in a place that is gonna get attacked soon? Groucho? I would move. What? Real smart. I would move from there. Sergeant? What? I didn't hear that. Wait, wait, one. shot one of his own guys? Well, who knows if it's true? Might be true, I mean, I saw how he executed that poor guy. You said an eyewitness told him the Spears posed those prisoners. What? He breaks out a pack of smokes, passes them out. Yeah, the guy that was actually American. Remember? Then all of a sudden, he hoses him. <sighs> Because he's, he's a bad man. God damn, did it. Oh, you don't believe it? Whoa, whoa, you didn't see it? I already didn't do it. No, oh, no, no, it was him, all right. But it was more than eight guys. More like 20. All except one guy. Uh, well, all I know, from what I heard, he took that last 105 on D-Day practically by himself. What do you think? I don't know. Blight is just enjoying the sun. That means you, Private Blight. Oh, get up. Poor Private Blight, he's so mentally tired. I feel for him. Until they tell us to stop. High ground. There's high ground up ahead. Okay, genius. High ground is always where you want to go. And we're the fifth of nine companies of this regiment. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it starts again to be loud. All right. I hope it's not gonna like deafen you. Because Easy Company was the best company. Shit. 
blight, pod blight. Man, this is stressful. He's still there. Oh my god. You can see the makeup they use on his face here. He looks not depressed. Exhausted. He looks exhausted. Thunder! I was so scared. Spell me a minute, sir. My back teeth are floating. We get back here ASAP, Martin. Count on me, sir. You can count on me, like poor blight. I'm okay, sir. You're not that okay. Call it hysterical blindness. Oh, okay. So there is a term term for it. Hysterical <sighs> blindness. Yeah. Yeah, but alcohol. Does it worse? That's all. No <sighs> Making wrinkles here, guys. Nothing but a game. The whole thing. He's enjoying this. Thank you, sir. He feels like he's playing pupil. Oh, Winters. Hello, Winters. I knew that town was too easy. They regroup south of town. I like that he's having the limp because of his uh, feet, of uh, leg injury. I'm I'm paying attention to all, to all of the the um, the details here. I'll tell the men to fix bayonets. Not much of a limp. Enough. War as hell. I don't know. I cannot really read this guy. I'm trying to read him, but doesn't really work. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing? That's Talbert. I heard so many stories about veterans coming back home and being awakened in their la by their wives, for example, and they just turn aggressive on them because, you know, of PTSD and stuff. Like the constant tension. What the hell is that? Sounds like it's coming from third platoon. Blight is. get some sleep? He's. He's. I don't think. I don't think he's he can. gone. He's gone with then the. Go wind. take a look. <laughs> you don't want to sleep? Then go work. I feel like in cases like this, you just have to pass through over your like mental barriers. You have to eat, you have to drink, and you have to sleep if you want to be sharp. He just got stabbed by a bayonet. Bayonet? Bayonet? Yeah, that's how it's called. Flash? Thunder, thunder. Lieutenant Spear, sir. Check out the noise, sir. I just came from there. Everything's under control. There's some nervous privates in your company. They just don't see how simple it is. He takes a nap. Lieutenant, I found myself in the ditch all by myself. Poor blight. Air sickness pills they gave us. Maybe he had an allergy on it or something. Made him sleepy. Try to find my unit to fight I just wanted to survive you know why you hid in that ditch plot we're all scared you were a coward maybe the only hope you have is to accept the fact that you're already dead oh my god without mercy without compassion without remorse like a machine all war depends upon it you just have to basically kill everything that's inside of you that makes you human and work and sleep and eat and shoot and do that but i guess this is how wars are being won no dog and fox companies will be on our left flank moving with us any questions let's make them holler it's 9 30 in the evening back home what does let's make them holler mean jesus i want to ask a question here Love this hell again. <laughs> Tell him to hold. I'm checking the lines. Go, lock and load. Oh shit. I've got mortars all across my line. No sign of infantry yet. I'm pulling the OP in. Over. Range 600. What the hell are these? Are these like bazookas? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw this in uh, in Saving Private Ryan as well. Run, run, run. Oh, go, go, go. Per Conte. I want fire 
Go Winters, go. True leader. I mean, it's good at least they have like the three cover, but. It breaks my heart. Seeing Blight like this, it. I think he's. I think Blight is supposed to be like the way the war impacts the mantle in this episode to show that, to showcase that. Jesus, damn things. You have to bazooka the thing. What? There is a damn tank there. What do you want them to do? The tank? I just get goosebumps all over, like, it's, it's kind of heartbreaking, then I cannot, I cannot cry now, I have a cosplay to do! You can, you could see in those, those uh, shots, in those scenes, how he's changing, like, how he basically dies inside. Oh no. Oh no no! Okay. Bazooka it. <laughs> He's gonna explode them both. Oh shit, oh shit! Shoot! Shoot! They missed? They missed. Oh, they didn't. Did you? Oh my god. I mean, we took the tank down. Shit. Man, when they get heated, they just jump, their body just... <sighs> this is, this is a massacre. Well, hello, second armors. Oh, this is theirs? I think that's what the, the, those tanks they brought with them, right? About damn time. Look at them how chill they are on top of the, the, those tanks. For me, they are all tanks, by the way. Wow. 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 I was not planning today to see a guy being smashed by a tank he got it i guess but he's he's gone his blight is is not supposed to be on that battlefield guys <laughs> this guy with a head injury i guess another day in the office looks like you fellas had a heck of a fight I don't think he's okay. Wait. <sighs> this was the medic that was praying, right? The one that was doing the the praying on the fallen soldiers. Was this the body that he shot? I'm making wrinkles, guys. I feel like I'm dying here. My forehead hurts. Oh, the flower. The symbol of a true soldier. This is emotional and I can't afford myself to cry. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a champ, guys. I'm a champ.
If you look up, you won't be crying. It's it's proven by me. I need to know what's in there. I don't know who the hell to send. I need to take a look at that farmhouse. Who wants to go? No one. I'll go. Anyone else? I'll be late. Live lead scout. Move out. Blind lead scout. You crazy. You been hauling that thing around ever since we jumped? Gonna send it to Kitty when we get back to England. <laughs> As a souvenir, I guess. Figure it'll make a good wedding dress, you know? What with rationing and all. Okay. You using a parachute as a wedding dress? It's a new concept. No, that you think we're gonna make it back to England. He's an optimist. You have to put good thoughts in the universe. <gasps> Here we go again. Shh. Fire! Go, go! No blind. Was it the next shot? You, oh yeah, yeah. Those are this. That's that. That. Uh, how was it called? Wait, I have to remember. Uh, powder cloth or cloud powder or something like this. What happened? Sniper. Showers. Then back to England. He's so nervous. Look at this. This this series is guys is um yeah. I'm trying to wrap my my head around it because there are so much. So so many details that speak so much volume, like he was trying to basically light up a cigarette, right? Which is a pretty easy thing to do. The flower. We lost blight. But it, it shows so much distress and so much pain by the fact that you cannot light up a cigarette, which is really? easy thing to do. That's why that's why I, I, I really enjoy this series. Talk to Colonel Singh. Said he appreciated easy holding the line. Yeah, well, thank you for appreciation. Said General Taylor was pleased. Mm -hmm. That's why I came to France. Yeah. Please, General Taylor. Now that General Taylor is pleased, I can sleep at night. Send this man home. In grateful acknowledgement of the blood shed in the service of your country. Yeah. And you only had to pay with your leg. Now you have a purple heart. Enjoy. How many does that make? Two. Oh, this is three. the guy that got shot in the bum, no? A second in my calf, then there's the boil on my shin that had to be lanced. He only gets one. I thought Blight uh, died, but no. Seems like they just changed him out of his uh, suit. Uniform. He's never gonna be able to live a trauma-free life. But you know, like in the same time, they show these kind of moments in the series. It's, it's a hot and cold relationship. I personally like enjoy. Uh, I like enjoying myself. I personally like surrounding myself with people that can make a good situation in a bad situation. You know, like this is the good in things. Night was filled with dark Three purple and cold. hearts. <laughs> Fast asleep, he called his name. Something Smith. is wrong. Oh, Smith, get up, it's time. Oh, that Smith, is so very weary. Uh oh, bad oil. news, guys. I can, I can, I can smell bad news. And skewered the boy from Kokomo. Heading back to barracks. We've taken matters into our own hands. Didn't think we could spare a man. <laughs> the the incident where he got speared basically by his bayonet because he was sleeping and he got uh, woken up, right? But I feel some bad news coming. Couple of announcements, men. Okay, let's see. Has been cancelled. That's 10 p.m. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> trucks depart from memory at 0700. Oh. Good morning, Miss Lamb. Um, sorry to bother you so early. That's all right. Uh, private Malarkey. I can't read this currency. Yeah. I guess. He's just like, take my money, take my money. This is what I used to do when I was a child as well. No, thank you. I'm in a hell of a... Take the bit tea. Bit of a hurry. But uh, thank you anyway. Maybe it's the last tea you get. Oh, um, private. Sergeant. Yes, ma'am. Lieutenant Mion's one of yours, isn't he? 
I hope he hasn't forgotten his laundry. Mihan was the one that was missing, right? You um you couldn't be a dear help me with a few others, could you? Private Moya, Floza. They're all gone. Collins. Jesus. Elliot. This is like such a wake-up call. Blight, yeah. By the time the company was pulled off the line June 29, they lost 65 men. Ab never recover from the wounds. Yeah, he died in 1946. He wouldn't have recovered mentally anyway. Beautiful. This episode was a little bit more on the impact mental life, the mental impact you get in war, I would say. And everything was portrayed by Blythe, because you could see. Um, sometimes you have to understand, I feel like, that soldiers uh, and veterans especially are experiencing a lot of trauma, a lot of PTSD. Um, like I said in the reaction as well, maybe you didn't hear me because the, the, the reaction, the, the fighting scenes are super, super loud and I basically have to go in manually, try to like balance the audio and everything. But what I wanted to say is that I actually know stories uh, about like veterans coming or people coming back from the war and everything and they were like sleeping and maybe they were having like a nightmare and their wives or partners or whatever tried to like wake them up and they would turn violent because they were in their head they were still on the front and they were still suffering and it's really traumatic um for for soldiers and everything i recently recently last year i reacted to a song by five fingers that punch and they were um, showing like statistically about veterans and they become how they, they they're affected by trauma and stuff, stuff like that it was like really powerful i don't have a lot of military knowledge or, or ranks or how that goes like i we don't i don't have in the family like we don't we don't really have you know uh, around it's not a military family or something like this so i will be asking questions most of the time thank you so much for replying to those i really appreciate it uh, i do hope you guys enjoy the reaction don't forget to like and subscribe if you did if you want to see the full length reaction as well i do have a patreon you can go check it out as well um it's a great way of supporting me and i'm really really grateful thanks to that and your likes and comments and pushing the algorithm up i'm able to do this as a full time i would say so i'm super grateful thank you thank you thank you for being on this journey with me I do hope to see you on my next reaction. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.